what's up people? I'm going for a walk through this beautiful forest in Mullumbimby. It's a really warm, sunny Saturday morning in the middle of winter. You wouldn't really believe it. And today I'm in day two of my first ever dry fast. So I'm about 40 hours in and it's the first experience for me doing a fast without any water. I've been experimenting with fasting for the past, I guess, two years now. Intermittent fasting. I've done a couple of two days fast, two day fast, but I've never really pushed it any longer than that. And recently I've been reading into and watching videos about people doing dry fasting, which is no food, no liquid for a certain period of time. Usually it's 24 hours to 48 hours. And I woke up on Friday morning and just felt that I wanted to fast for a little while. I wanted to do a three-day fast. Generally, every week I fast on a Sunday from Saturday night dinner to Sunday night dinner. Do a 24-hour quick tidy up of the body. A bit of a, um, I guess, a little bit of a cleanse and a reset. And this week I decided I wanted to just push it a bit further. Go from Thursday night to Sunday night, three days. And waking up that Friday morning, it just felt right to maybe try dry fasting. So the first 24 hours went super easy. In fact, I woke up on Friday morning with quite a dry mouth, quite dehydrated or so I felt. And as the day went on, I started to feel more hydrated. I felt more saliva coming into my mouth and not really much thirst or hunger. I guess I've been doing it a while, so... Uh, I don't feel the hunger too intense usually. Sometimes it comes, but usually just 24 hours isn't too much to, to deal with. And I'm not sure how long I'm going to do the dry fast. At first I thought just 24 hours and I'd drink today, but I'm feeling good today as well. So I might push the dry fast all the way to 72 hours, till three days, till Sunday night, and then maybe break it with some coconut water. Uh, to people who haven't, heard about fasting or dry fasting for that matter it might sound dangerous or crazy uh, or harmful to your body but there's a lot of science behind it there's a lot of research and a lot of people doing their own experimentation in their own bodies which i've been doing with intermittent fasting and water fasting for quite a while and when you dig deeper into it basically the body has a pretty incredible ability to survive and to maintain a balanced homeostasis, a balanced state of hydration, of fuel. And so this is just tapping into our natural reserves and all the systems and mechanisms our body has in place and have, has had in place for thousands of years to get us through difficult situations, times of famine, times of searching for food. And in essence, what you're doing is tapping into the stores of fuel already in your body and something I've learned recently by watching some videos on dry fasting and just fasting in general is that a metabolic byproduct of burning the stored fuel in our body whether that be glycogen which is stored form of sugar or whether that be fats um, from the stored body fat so a metabolic byproduct of that process of turning that stored fuel into energy is actually pure water pure h2o which explains why the body can remain hydrated and survive for quite a significant period of time without any input whatsoever and i guess it's our conditioning to consume that we think we have to eat three meals or more a day to maintain metabolism to maintain health but if you think about that in nature or in terms of our evolutionary history there would have been long stretches of time where we would have had to go without food without water and our body would have had to learn to adapt so yeah, right now I feel incredible. I feel really good. I feel really clear. Everything feels really bright. Um, a little bit lethargic. A little bit like don't have that energy to just burst into a sprint or do something. But colors seem bright. My mind seems quite clear. My body feels really good. I don't have much thirst. So I'm going to see, try and get to the 72 hours. Definitely without food. Potentially I'll drink some water tonight depending on how I feel. I've got a few things to distract me uh, over, over the next day and a bit. We've got the footy, Essendon vs. the Hawks coming up in a couple of hours. Can't wait to dig into that. And then on Sunday, the UFC 
UFC 227, uh, Cody Garbrandt versus TJ Dillashaw, number two. So I'll be streaming that and that will dull my mind for a few hours and uh, distract me from the hunger and thirst. And I took some photos yesterday uh, and I'll take some more photos today just to see the change in my body in those few days. I'm not doing it for weight loss or to get lean or for anything like that, more just for mental clarity and for health and just really experimentation and seeing what the capabilities of my body are. And yeah, just to learn a little bit more. So um, I'll have a record of that and we'll see from what I've seen people lose tremendous amounts of, uh, of water weight and gut weight and obviously like muscle glycogen and liver glycogen deplete which is like our immediate source of fuel so once that's gone we start tapping into fat and that is, at least uh, uh, accounts for um, maybe a couple of kilos of body weight so when you fast all that comes off and a lot of it will come back on straight away but it's just an interesting experiment to see um, what my body does under these circumstances so I'm making sure I get out into the sunshine, into the fresh air, in this beautiful forest, getting my bare feet on the ground before I go and sit in front of the TV for the next few hours and watch the footy. Anyway, cool. I think I'll post this to Facebook. Um, I haven't posted anything like this before, but I've been watching lots of videos of other people sharing their stories and inspiring me to try things like this, so I thought I might as well just chuck it up and see if anyone's interested and we can talk more about it. All right, much love, peace.